Micronesia for over 75 years. Matson's a Daiitano program taking care of the land. Cars Plus, driven by you. IP&E, fueling excellence. McDonald's of Guam, I'm loving it. Pacific Solar and Chuck E. Cheese's Guam, where all games are just one token. Coming up on your primetime news, we are tracking the typhoon and we tell you everything you need to know from the National Weather Service as Ken Kitaniza has the very latest. And our Jolene Tovas reporting from Jigo, where the mayor works with several families to fight off Mother Nature. And Issa checks in with several shelters and talks with people needing a safe place to ride out Typhoon Dolphin. Hop day and good evening, Guam. Hope you and your family and your friends are staying safe. Now, we hope you're being safe and secure because it's going to be a long night as Typhoon Dolphin is now setting its sights on Guam and Bree up to our friends. Right. It started heading right for us, then started shifting towards Rhoda and Saipan, and now it looks like it just may pass through the Rhoda Channel. This means northern Guam will bear the brunt of this storm when it makes its closest point of approach in just a couple of hours. KUM's Ken continues to reports now from the Joint Information Center. He's over in Agana Heights with the National Weather Service's Chip Guard and Governor Eddie Kalp. Hoff today, I'm Ken Quintanilla reporting here at the Joint Information Center here in Agania Heights. I'm joined by both Chip Guard for the National Weather Service and Governor Eddie Cavill. Chip, first, can you just tell me what is the latest with Typhoon Dolphin? I know earlier today you mentioned about uh, Typhoon Dolphin being north of Rota. However, it's changed in a sense. Yeah, we indicated that it looked like it was going to be a direct hit on Rota. Uh, the last few hours, uh, it's taken a little more westward track, and the eye has expanded a little bit, and that's pushing the... Uh, southern part of the eye wall cloud where the strongest winds and the heaviest rains are it's pushing it down over the north uh, part of the island so uh, we're going to expect uh, a little bit stronger winds than we were talking about uh, 75 to 90 mile per hour winds we're, we're uh, with 90 mile per hour gusts now we're expecting 100 mile per hour winds with uh, possibly 120 mile per hour gusts so uh, we still think it's going to move through the Rota channel and uh, but uh, this will bring uh, stronger winds over the northern part of the island. That will spread some destructive winds or even into the southern part of the island as well. So uh, people need to stay uh, away from the ocean and get into their shelters. I know you mentioned before that storms that have been through the Rota Channel that they've turned into bigger storms or like the past storms as well. Can you tell me about that? Well, they don't necessarily turn into bigger storms, but we have has historically uh, uh, Pong San Hua went through the rotary channel, the center went through the rotary channel, as did uh, Paca, as did uh, Chataan. So you can see it's not an un, uh, uncommon place for the center of the storm to travel through. And again, the storm is expected to make its closest port, uh, point of approach this evening. This evening, uh, maybe later, a couple, few hours later than, uh, than sunset. So. Uh, yeah, definitely, we're going to keep monitoring the storm and Governor Cavill. I know that. Um, People, people, we've been spared by several storms yeah. recently. Uh, do you have any words or messages to the people of Guam in terms of Typhoon Dolphin? Again, it's, that's why it's imp so important for us all to be vigilant. We were anticipating, again, winds at, 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 at a, barely at, at uh, Typhoon Force. Now, uh, with more recent uh, uh, updates, uh, we are going to be at 100 miles per hour. And I got to caution everybody. The last storm we had just a few months back, we, that was about 40, 45 mile per hour winds. So you're seeing a doubling of that. And then of course you add on the uh, the gusts. These are gonna be some some pretty heavy winds that we haven't uh, felt in, in more than a decade. So again, I'm imploring the people of Guam, uh, play it safe, uh, stay indoors, uh, have the necessary precautions on food uh, and all emergency equipment. I'm also cautioning, and I've gotten wind from some of our, uh, our officials out there that, you know, some folks have been even at the beaches and surfing. Uh, this storm at, at its height uh, is going to hit us at, uh, at a high tide uh, point as well. So uh, right now we've been feeling those impacts of, of high surf uh, in the southeastern part of Guam. Uh, but when it reaches its height, when it reaches its closest, uh, closest point of approach to Guam, uh, we're looking for Meridian all the way down to Agate that is, are going to be experiencing uh, extremely high surf and rip currents. Uh, as, as a matter of fact, the whole of the island. So again, I'm I'm, I'm imploring everybody, please be safe, uh, stay at, indoors, do not get next to the uh, to, uh, to the coast. Uh, and 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 again, I'm asking everyone to just uh, 
pray for each other, and uh, let's come together in the good uh, together this in as a community. The good news is we've had both our civil administrative uh, authorities and, and the civil government uh, in close collaboration uh, with our federal partners in the Department of Defense. Uh, we have a FEMA team also in place that is in place before the storm actually uh, has arrived. Uh, so uh, whatever uh, is a result of this storm, uh, we do believe that uh, we'll be able to recover. Anything that you guys want to add? Again, my, my prayers for all the people of Guam and, and all of the Marianas. Uh, we've gone through this before, and I know we'll, we'll, we'll get through it uh, again. But uh, everyone, just be safe. God bless you all. Thank you both, Governor, and thank you again, Chip. Again, for more on Typhoon Dolphin State Locks, the stations of KUAM, reporting for Guam's News Network here in Nagani Heights, I'm Ken Quintaniza. Thanks, Ken, and of course, thanks to our viewers who submitted the video of their dolphin watching experiences you saw in his piece. Now, if you've got video, make sure to tag us on Facebook or email us at reporters at KUAM.com. You can also upload your pictures and videos um, after the storm and use hashtag Typhoon Dolphin. Key phrase, after the storm. Now, as Northern Guam begins to feel the full impact of Dolphin tonight, one family in Jigo is hoping precautions that they've taken today will prevent their home from flooding. Jolene Tovis explains. In past storms, Jigo Mayor Rudy Matsunani says that they have had to evacuate residents as a result of flooding in several areas throughout the village. The one that we had to evacuate, uh, I think three, three kids, because this is the most serious flood here in Jigo. Learning from this experience, Mayor Matsunani was out and about providing assistance to residents like Artemino Selliman. Sometimes you see the, the baluster in the outside the baluster is the level of the water. As a precautionary measure, he rented two water pump hoses in hopes that it would buy some time for residents and mitigate the flooding. The mayor to not flood the whole house and go there. I don't know where the place uh, he put maybe the drain. Mayor Matsunani reports that there are six areas in Jigo which are prone to flooding, sometimes rising to over seven feet. There's the one of, mo one of the most serious ones besides this is uh, in Matagwat. There's another one in Lachanj, and there's another one in back of Palis. And the one right behind uh, the, the, the mayor's office. And actually, you know, there's, there's more on East Gajanero that that we haven't attended to where, you know, we're still trying to find a solution. Guam is currently under a flash flood watch. Rainfall of three to six inches is expected through Saturday. Reporting for Guam's News Network, I'm Jolene Tovez. Hundreds of our fellow Guamanians in the meantime have hunkered down in one of the several shelters that have been open to ride out the typhoon. Isa Baza reports. Residents from around the island began trickling into shelters late Thursday afternoon, when Guam was placed in condition of readiness too. However, what began as six emergency shelters grew to eight by Friday morning. Wedding Gale Principal Evangeline Iglesias. I got noted that the Machinana Elementary School had uh, reached its capacity as far as occupancy and that uh, later on or early this morning, Maria Ujo was experiencing the same thing. So I was notified to open the shelter at about 11 o'clock this morning. Iglesias opened the school at about 10.30 a.m. and by 10.40 was already receiving the overflow of registrants who had been turned away from other northern shelters. There's about 872 shelteries right now based on the report that I just received from DOE Central. So at this point, we have about five uh, shelters that are open for the northern region. The northern shelters include Machinaunau, Maria Ujoa, Astumbo, Weddingale Elementaries, and F.B. Leon Guerrero Middle School. The other shelters include George Washington High School, Harry S. Truman Elementary, and Talafofo Elementary. KUAM spoke with Dedido resident Karison Soren, who is waiting out the storm at Maria Ujoa. I'm scared for the typhoon. That's why I come over here to anyone in the school. He said it was his first time at a shelter and that he registered because it would have been dangerous to weather out the storm at home. And yeah, it's another rain and, and the wind coming over. That's why I'm scared for the typhoon come. That's okay. Meanwhile, sheltery Kalisto Kanes could be seen sweeping the hallways at Maria Ujoa. 
He did this to make sure walkways were safe for the dozens of children running around between the classrooms. Connes is from Swamp Road, Dedido, and said this is the second time he's been to a shelter during a storm. Like Soren, he said safety was his number one concern. I'm just coming here because I'm thinking for my, uh, my family. Aside from safety, he came because Typhoon Dolphin was expected to be stronger than most of Guam's recent storms. Because I stay on the ranch, oh. so it's not like uh, my house is on a tin roof. But aside from home safety, flooding also drew many others to seek shelter. A family at Weddingale Elementary spoke to KUAM and said that their home in the Machechi area had experienced severe flooding. Three of the family members decided to seek shelter at the school, although several of their other family members decided to stay behind. We would like our families to please to seek shelter as soon as possible and do not wait for the last moment. At the latest count before news time, there were over 1,000 people staying in eight shelters throughout the island. Reporting for Guam's News Network, I'm Issa Baza. Uh, it's important to note that the three of the northern shelters are currently full to capacity, including Machanana, Maria Ijoa, and Istanbul Elementary Schools. Well, also seeking shelter were expectant mothers. According to the Joint Information Center, 28 mothers checked in to the Guam Memorial Hospital Thursday evening and six expectant moms were sheltering at Naval Hospital. According to GMH spokesperson June Paris, the hospital is weathering the storm well and reports no issues or incidents at this time. And at this time, we want to get you up to speed on island utilities as while there was one storm related report of a water outage over at Ladera Apartments, which should be restored by 12 on Saturday. That's of course in Mila. There were numerous pockets of power outage reported in Jigo. Jotnia, again in Heights, Telampago, and down south in Santarita, Inarahan, Telefofo, and Malolo. According to GPA acting spokesperson Heidi Ballendorf, crews were out earlier today addressing the outages, but right now there is no restoration timeline. She asked that residents be vigilant and patient as the safety of GPA crews are their top priority. Ballendorf says that as the power does go out, the system automatically alerts the agency of the location and time adding that crews were told to seek shelter as the storm's closest point of approach does near. Ballendor says if your power goes out from this point on, anticipate it to be out until the all clear is given and crews can resume restoration efforts. She stresses that GPA's trouble dispatch office should only be called to report emergencies such as downed power lines. Now remember, if you do happen to see a line that is down, please keep your distance because it may be live and you want to prevent injury. Now, riding out the typhoon with all of us here in Guam are representatives from the Federal Emergency Management Agency. As we've reported, they've been here since Monday. They're called Instant Management Assistance Team. They are comprised of disaster response specialists here to lend a hand to Guam should their help be needed. Veronica Verde is the IMATS External Affairs Officer. We've been working really closely with uh, the government of Guam as well as the governor's office. It's been a joint effort. Uh, FEMA's not the team, we're just part of the team. But we want to also heed the warning of local government. Please stay off the streets and please be safe. Verde, as they also have a liaison in the CNMI working with uh, leadership there in Saipan to evaluate the resources that are needed. Well, still to come, we'll bring you more perspectives on Typhoon Dolphin and more of your incredible viewers submitted videos. Stay tuned, we are back after this. Stay connected to the world at home from everywhere you are. Get the KUAM News app for the latest in local news, videos, sports, streaming, Isla 63 AM, weather, and more. Available for free now at the iTunes App Store or Google Play. Have you gotten paid yet? That's the premium automatic insurance deduction plan from Calvo's Insurance. Paid simplifies your home and auto insurance. No down payment. No more long lines, and you can stretch your payments up to 12 months. Pay is convenient. It deducts from your payroll, your checking account, or your credit card. With Paid, you get up to 65% off your car insurance and enjoy lifestyle club discounts. Life can be easier when you get paid. Call Calvo's Insurance today and save on your home and auto insurance. Nandito na ang TFC.TV mula sa ITNE. Panoorin ang paborito mong mga teleserye, variety shows at mga nagbabagang balita gamit ang iyong mga cellphones, tablets at PC. Tula ngayon hanggang September 30, mga customers ng ITNE ay makakuha ng special introductory price sa halagang $5 lang. Or kung postpaid customer ka sa plans 80 pataas, pwede kayong makuha ng offer na ito na libre. Ang best way para manood ng TFC ay kasama ang Island's Best 4G Experience, ITNE. Oh, yeah. 
A beautiful, healthy smile is an expression of confidence. The more confident you are about your smile, the more likely you are to fully express your feelings without having to worry about the way your teeth look. Before cosmetic dentistry, I didn't smile as much. I didn't have the confidence, and it shows. And since I've had cosmetic dentistry done, I feel 10 times more confident. I make my initial introduction with a nice big smile and a handshake, and I just you know, feel like it really is a relationship builder, a nice warm smile. And it makes the clients and customers feel more comfortable with you feeling confident and they feel that you're not just there for business, that you're also there kind of as a friend as well. So, I mean, it's amazing how powerful a smile can be. A good smile. Since your smile makes a significant impression on those around you, it is important that it makes the impression you want it to make. Buying a car is supposed to be uh, exciting and a, a good experience. And so when we can make that happen, then it's very satisfying. And we have to remind ourselves that, you know, even though we're selling, you know, 200 cars a month, that uh, each customer is only buying one car every four or five years or even longer. Narrowing that down to that one perfect car for the customer is something that our salesmen are trained to really focus on. We hope that uh, we'll have a long-term relationship with them. We want to be able to make sure they understand that, uh, that they're important. Uh, if it wasn't for the customers, we wouldn't even be here. The customer leaves here feeling like we cared about their needs, about their uh, desires, about you know, their wants. Whether they buy a car from us or not, they feel like the people they talk to here uh, cared about them. The customer's first is only two words, but it has a very deep meaning. We're really about taking care of the customer. Follow KUAM News on Twitter or become a fan on Facebook to get all your daily headlines from Guam's News Network. Hi, Guam, and thank you for staying on track with your news leader. Now, check out this viewer-submitted video of exactly what's happening in the southern village of Inarahan. Mother Nature staked her claim over the Inarahan pools today, and it is impossible to stress anymore how important it is for people to stay out of the water when there is a storm in our area. Marine conditions were obviously hazardous today, and they'll be so tonight with surf up to 20 feet high. There's also a stronger danger of rip currents. Elsewhere, down by the water's edge in Jotnia at Tagadseng Beach, here's some more amazing viewers submitted footage sent to us of the storm surge created by Typhoon Dolphin. This is actually a contradiction in terms since the surf was raging so much it came far ashore. Now, while many of you were responsibly staying put and indoors to ride out the early effects of the storm, there were some island residents who wanted to surf the uncommonly large waves and perhaps tempt Mother Nature's wrath. Not good. We got this video of some folks down in Talafofo who were frolicking in some waves that had extremely dangerous surges and, again, current. So whether you tried to joyride, thrill-seek, or selfie capture, it is not a smart thing to do, and these people now made the news for all the wrong reasons. Because remember, when you're out during typhoons, you not only put yourself in danger, but also the police officers, the EMTs, or other emergency responders who have to go out and hopefully help you and tell you to stop. And if they weren't serving, apparently there were people swimming. Now, this was what we saw in Aganya this afternoon as we've been reporting. Again, residents encouraged to stay out of the water. A seas of 20 feet or higher are expected through this evening. This will produce surf 16 to 20 feet along north and west facing shores with even higher surf on the eastern shores, especially near high tide, which began at around 545 tonight. Rip currents could also lead to extremely dangerous situations, so the community is urged to stay indoors and away from the water until condition of readiness for is declared. Well, with more on water activity, we've actually compiled some of the videos. You've seen many of them already in our broadcast. But here are some more sent by our online viewers who showed the conditions from the northern end of the island all the way down south.
Well, you may have noticed we experienced a, a bit of a power outage or a power glitch, but we're, we're back on the air. And um, stay tuned because sports is coming up next. Are you ready? I'm ready to capture the flag. I'm ready to excel in school. We're watching the Game of Thrones. The Walking Dead. I'm ready to not fight over bandwidth. We're ready for faster. Way faster. To spend more time with her. Daddy Doe is ready. I got this ready. Again, your height is ready. <laughs> I'm ready for faster. Faster is GTA Fiber. GTA is upgrading neighborhoods to fiber, delivering faster internet speeds up to 50 megabits per second. Stream, connect, and experience fast at a whole new level. Faster is here. To find out if fiber is available in your area, visit gta.net slash fiber. When you come to Chuck E. Cheese's, you can see what's new. Hyundai owners are passionate, and with quality like ours, no wonder they're excited to showcase their vehicles. And with three highest ranked vehicle awards in the JD Power Initial Quality Study, our vehicles are something to love, maybe even a little too much. So welcome, all you soon to be Hyundai owners. Here's to a long, wonderful future together. JD Power Award recognized quality, the Accent, Genesis, and the Lantra from Hyundai. What's up, Guam? I'm Dave Delgado. Welcome to KUAM Sports. Thanks for watching. I'll get to some NBA highlights between the Clippers and Rockets in just a bit. But first off, your Dow to own Athlete of the Week. Check it out. We're here at Dow Rentone, man. Eli for our Dow Rentone Athlete of the Week. Today we have Irish Iriarty who plays football for the Lady Falcons. And here to present her with a check is Tommy. Tommy? On behalf of Dow Rentone, we'd like to present this check to Iris. Iris, who are we donating your check to? I'll be donating the check today to um, Special Olympics. All right, you play corner safety, running back for the Lady Falcons in this year's season. Um, your second year in the league, second year with the Lady Falcons. Tell us uh, how your team has grown throughout these uh, last two seasons. Uh, our team has grown a lot. We have a, a good chemistry team. Uh, most of our players are new. We have four high school students. So um, out of that, 80% of our team is new. So um, it's it's a good turnout for this year, being that we were kind of down last year, but this year we came out strong. So we're a new team to the league, and we came out to let them know that we're here. Yeah, let's talk about that. You guys finished three and two in the regular season. You guys are looking at playing the Steel Blazers for the third place trophy in this year's uh, Bud Light. Guam Women's Soccer Football League. Uh, just tell us overall, what did you think about this year's season and heading into that last game against the Steel Blazers? Uh, this year's season is, is pretty amazing. Um, with the new players, um, I didn't really think what we didn't really know what we had coming into this league. Um, but uh, from what what I've seen so far, our, our team is good. Like we have a lot of people that can play different positions, and they're willing to get out there and get dirty. So that's a good thing. Facing the Steel Blazers for the second time, um, I'm looking for a win. I'm hungry for it. Kind of upset about uh, last weekend's um, loss, but, I mean, we came out to, to play. So um, I'm hoping that we come out strong and take that third place trophy because, I mean, I, I want it. And I'm, I'm sure my ladies want it, too. All right. Congratulations. Stay tuned to our next Dara Tone Athlete of the Week. KUAM Sports Athlete of the Week is brought to you by...
Let's turn to some NBA highlights from Game 6 between the Cavs and Bulls in Chicago. Jimmy Butler with the deep ball. Butler led the Bulls in scoring again with 20 points, 5 rebounds. Matthew Della Vadova hit for 19 points on 3 of 6 shooting from 3-point range. Della Vadova played 34 minutes off the bench and hit 7 out of 11 shots from the field. LeBron James was a rebound short of a triple-double, scoring 15 points, 11 assists, and 9 rebounds. Cavs take the series four games to two with the 94-73 win on the road. Tristan Thompson added 13 in the win for Cleveland. All right, let's take a look now at your NBA scoreboard. It was the Houston Rockets defeating the Los Angeles Clippers 119-107 to to even that series at three games apiece, heading back to Houston for game seven. Well, that's going to do it for sports. We're back right after this. The spring cleaning event is on at Nissan. Get into a fuel-efficient, classy, and safe 2015 Sentra. Up to 40 MPG highway, starting at $125 per pay period with no money down. During the spring cleaning event, you'll find other great no-money-down deals from the Nissan line. Sentra with Auto Trans, alloy wheels, and Bluetooth. You've arrived starting at $125 per pay period, no money down at Nissan Upper Tumon. Find out more at NissanGuam.com. Get ready, Guam. Two unforgettable days, one remarkable experience. The Guam Visitors Bureau is proud to once again bring you the region's premier music event, the Lote Duty Free Guam Live International Music Festival at Paseo Stadium in Hagania. On June 5th and 6th, Guam Live 2015 will feature some of the world's hottest musical acts. Common King. Kind of feels like my sickness. Dinashe and Far East Movement with performances by Jay Park, Hoodie Allen, and Grammy Award winning CeeLo Green, plus Japan's pop sensation Wind and Homemade Kazoku, as well as some of the best local talent from Guam. Get your tickets today at all 76 Circle K locations, MWR, Anderson ITT, Guam Auto Spot, and online at guam-live.com. Visit us on Facebook and Instagram for updates and Guam Live news. This is a GVB signature event. Hi, I'm Max. McDonald's asked me to remind you that their new sirloin third pound burger won't be around long. If you miss out, you'll never know how delicious 100% sirloin tastes. That'd be a gosh darn shame. So try a sirloin third pound burger before they're gone. Hashtag no regrets. Hashtag sirloin. 100% North American sirloin. 100% limited. Try all three sirloin third pound burgers at McDonald's. Enjoy this loving while it lasts. All right, everybody. Now, despite the weather, hopefully, let's make some people happy because we are going to induct some new people into the Cold Stone Creamery Birthday Club. So right off the top, we say happy birthday to Janaya Lynn Cruz. Happy birthday to Christine Manabus and Jackson with so much love, hugs, and kisses, Dad, Mom, and Justy. Happy birthday also goes out to Herbert Narciss. Happy birthday to Eugene Sunega. Happy birthday goes out to Elijah Jose Sanchez Regis. And happy belated birthday going out to Angel David Santos. All right, now remember, there's a lot going on right now, but you may have a lot of time. So register somebody with the Cold Stone Creamery Birthday Club. It doesn't have to be the day of or the next day. You can tell us when the birthday's coming up a couple weeks from now. Um, and also, we want to also mention we have a winner. Oh, yes, we do. Almost forgot. <laughs> it's been a busy day. Happy, uh, or happy. Now, congratulations to Elijah Jude. LG until on his birthday was last Saturday. So congratulations. Right. You won a Cold Stone Creamer birthday cake. All right. 
please, everybody, please stay safe. Make sure that you check us out online. If the power does go out, we will be able to reach you in some fashion. You can listen to us on the radio. You can get the KUM News mobile app. You can stream Isla 63 live. Please, everybody, stay informed and please stay safe. And we'll see you soon. Closed captioning is brought to you by IT&E.